Hello everyone, it's nine o'clock at night and I'm on my way to the Witches Village which is also known as the Salem of Europe. We're going there for a night wonder. Off we go! Hello everyone, welcome to Triora, one of the smallest villages in Italy, up in the Argentina Valley, which is on the Alps near the border with France. Triora is known as one of the most beautiful places in Italy, but it has a very dark past. The village of Triora dates back to Roman times. The close proximity to Genova sees Triora annexed to the Genovan public in 1261. The transfer greatly benefited the country and the village, who, especially for the many concessions offered by the Genovan Republic, including capital punishment. Walls of defensive tower were built all around the village to fortify it. This place is eerily quiet. Seriously, you, you hear whispers in the trees. It's like if you can hear faint whispers. It's really unsettling. After the period of peace between the 15th and the 16th century, the famous witch trials of 1587 to 1589 took place. I gotta say, since then, magic hasn't really left the place. <laughs> Corso Italia. Noi siamo su Corso Italia. The accused women were peasant women who were from a slum community that could be found outside the walls of the city. In 1587, uh, bad weather and bad crops led to famine, and the desperate residents of Triora became convinced that the only the work of witches could bring such misfortune. Some local women were accused of being origin of the pestilence, acid rain, killing livestock and kidnapping children. The original 20 women became 30 and they were convinced through torture to name more of their satanic sisters. Soon 18 of the accused broke down and confessed, dragging 13 women, four young girls and a single with one boy as well. The Inquisitor of Genoa verified the local parliament's suspicions. Indeed, evil was afoot. First 20 women were rounded up and finger-pointed by parishioners who were right up during mass. At least four women were burnt at the stake, although there were considerable doubts from the government that her confessions were enough to uphold such gruesome sentence. There are conflicting reports. Some accounts say that they all are bur burnt eventually. Some say that they were imprisoned in Genoa until the Holy Office responded to request to end the madness and set them free. Either way, a modern Triora revels in such morbid history.
There are several stories connected to witches in the Argentina Valley, as well as the old traditional healing methods, stories and legends linked to the power of evil and the witches. Apparently, it's not strange to walk around these roads and hearing whispers or feeling being touched by something. Pigeon. This is, this is amazing. I should probably mention, it's just past midnight. This is where, this is the time that the witches used to meet just outside of the road. To the Cabodino, which is the little house. And um, go down and have the rituals in the woods. It's midnight. Botina. There's a white light floating right in front of us. Bellissima. It's really beautiful. Look at the little cabotina. See the other clock. È tutta illuminata apposta. Ah, 
Ah, eccola qua. Sì, sì. È qui. Eccola qui. Se tu entri qui. Sì. Le streghe, le loro attività benefiche. He says that when you think about witches, you imagine ugly women with crooked nose and a serious evil face and uh, full of defects. And this is their stereotype. Um, that is to describe things that are not fully or were not fully understood. And, you know, witches, there were and there still are beautiful women. Some of them are, they knew about herbs and flowers. They said that they, they were accusing women of throwing ki kids around like a ball. Was it true? You don't know, do you? No proof, no proof at all. Everything is documented. And this is where they used to, this is where they used to meet, according to folklore. And together we go, ouch! I keep saying people were really short back then. And they used to go down this way and celebrate or whatever they is that they used to do. I would never go down there. There is a set I keep looking back. It's that really strange noises now. It's beautiful really. It's dead quiet. We haven't met a soul. Not in the ways. Nothing. It's, I understand that it's not a huge town, but not a soul. It's very, it's very eerie. I wonder if people actually just stay indoors and they don't go anywhere. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give us a thumb up. And I shall see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.